Oh, you. Welcome to another episode of the Whiskey Untitled. Today, we'll be talking about whiskey culture in general and in specific. There may be even a bit of uh, things and stuff, so. Stuff and things. We'll be talking about stuff Boom. and things. That's our new show. Stuff and things. <laughs> stuff and All right, things. let's get into it. Hey guys, how you doing? You're here, you Dan's sus- here, and a new subscriber, and Whiskey and Six. Hey Rob, how you doing? Ooh. Hola, they had a great uh, show today with uh, Roy, so that was pretty fun. They did the whole um, recycled whiskey, which is kind of funny. Recycled whiskey? Oh, dude, you got, if you don't know those videos from Roy, man, you got to check them out. Amazing stuff. I did just have a shower. Why do you think the hair is like this? <laughs> All right, so uh, what's uh, today's topic, my friend? Since you're the one to suggest it. Today's topic, whiskey culture. That's what we were talking about. Like, we were talking about it. Yeah. So let's talk about it. But, um, no, I, I actually brought some bottles out just for this because I was like, you know, we can talk about whiskey culture. Because seeing Tracy on Scotch Test Dummies really got me thinking, yeah. like, it has changed a lot. Like, a lot of things have changed a lot. And seeing, like, going to that event that Eric yep. set up, Scotch on Time, where it was just – it's just such a different crowd. And somebody pointed it out, like, while we were there. Yeah. They were like, hey, have you noticed that, like, all these things have changed? Like, the the people who are here have changed and all this stuff. And um, I don't remember. I think it was here on this show that I mentioned where I would read the article about the woman who had talked about going to a male-dominated event yep. where it was all just old white guys and how weird it was and how – like antiquated mm-hmm. it was compared to how things are nowadays but i mean things change yeah. that's i mean that's life Get with the yeah, so since it's a drinking show man do you have anything in your glass right now i, I don't think or... i do Ooh. from that picture i took today on the scotch if you count this is that glass of brook yeah. so classic that's an amazing photo too man the depth of field there oh i know it's not a photo show but still and then for me same thing saw it in a photo i even did a little giphy about it at the glenmo glenmo Quinter Ruba, the the port cast man it's, it's just amazing it's a great and this is their standard line too which is awesome so you can see this all the time so steve don't worry we're not talking about that event anymore we were just talking about the people at the event yeah does that does that count does that still count i don't know how I that works man, i think he's maybe, maybe he's a bit jelly or something or don't worry man no i don't think he's i don't think he's jealous i mean i did invite him to my birthday this year so we'll see how that goes i didn't even get an invite man so hey steve look at you <laughs> it's messed up <laughs> <laughs> all right at least a lot closer know, right <laughs> um so did you pick up any bottles today or last this week last week no they're still coming in the so mail it's only me i guess so i did get a care package from i'm i'm assuming this is one of steve's because wait oh no i did pick something up and i have to go grab okay, it you go grab it and i'll go you talk solo so i did pick up a scotch malt whiskey society um bottle and then i got this little sample hey steve you're in chat man did you send this one to me? Because I'm assuming this is yours. So I got a bunch of samples from Wally, and I'm assuming some of them. Yeah, so there you go. So Steve, he finally sent them to me, my friend. And I'll send you a link to the video of my unboxing of these. So excited about that. And then I picked up another Scotch Malt Whiskey Society bottling. This is Feel Good Fruit Fancy. I think this is Strathmill. Dan, please correct me if I'm wrong. But um, yeah, very excited about this one. These um, Scotch Malt Whiskey Society bottlings are kind of what I'm interested in right now. Um, they're fruity and spicy coloring, I guess you call it. Their flavor profile is kind of what I'm into. So very, very interested in that. And then, you good? Well, yeah. he's back. <gasps> so I- yeah, so um, I, I just showed them that you got, um, I basically got my package from you. And this is what Whiskey Watch Ooh. sent. Oh, that's yeah, it's from Steve. And then, he always uses those bottles. I know, but there's got to be some other stuff from Steve too, right? Like, No, I drank the rest. Really? The Exotic Cargo? No, I didn't drink the rest. Ah, that's from hey, me. I have to admit, if this wasn't your bottle, Mike, um, I think Wally like downsized some of the bottles, man. <laughs> I did. So I use a different size bottle than the ones I'm like, I what? <laughs> that was funny. But very excited about that. And you even sent me four... Um, surprise bottling. So I don't know what we're going to do with those. Either a show or something. So I took pictures of them. So I know what they are via picture. Awesome. But I did the same for Whiskey Nate. And he guessed two out of the three. And I was like, what the? Oh, I just started smelling them. Like, oh, they, they all smell good. So there's no peat. I'm happy. There might be some garbage in there. We'll cool. see. We'll see. Alrighty. So what, what did you uh, pick up? Oh, yeah, you did. 
I did pick up a bottle this week. I totally Liar. forgot. I did. So you open the box like this. Uh, watch that bottle fall out. <laughs> don't, don't say that. That'd be horrible. It probably wouldn't break, though. I've dropped bottles on the ground and they don't break. No, that's amazing. And I did comment, like, why do you pick that? So what was the flavor? Because I didn't read up on the flavor. So tell me why. Oh, no. I, I didn't buy it because of the flavor profile. Oh. I saw that afterwards and I was like, sweet. This is going to be awesome. I bought it because... So people always talk about building relationships <laughs> with your local yep. stores. You want to you want to talk about whiskey culture. Yeah. So some things in whiskey culture don't die, and to, to build to build up like relationship. a relationship with your local yep. store owner. Sometimes he will text you something like, "I have a drawer of thirty, come buy one." And sometimes you'll text back things like, "I need a month to like save the six hundred dollars that you want yeah. from me, so give me a month." And then he's like, I'll see you in February. Oh, and you're like, I'll see you in That's February. Awesome, man. And then you buy a Jura 30. Yeah. I thought it was just like, oh, yeah, hey, I got a bottle. Pick it up. I'm like, damn, dude, you're just like shit. I'll throw away 600 bucks. No, not like not like uh, that. I was just, well, yeah. if he said there was like a Pappy. It's called mismanagement. What about Pappy 23 or something, to do man? It. You'd probably be like, yeah, I'll go. <laughs> That's the thing. Gotcha. So like he's the same guy. When BTAC comes yeah. around, I get a text message like, hey, you want some GTS for 150? And I'm like, mm, yes, please. Yeah, 150 though. Ooh. He sold me the Pappy 15 for 165 oh, that's not... year before last. No, just because like, I got my stag for like 90 Oh, really? Yeah, I got retail. I mean, for this area, it's cheaper than 400 No, that's true. I know. I, I agree. Yeah. So. All right. Bottles. <laughs> Steve is what crying. What we're drinking. All right. Jump in the topic, my friend. You know, you... Oh, no. Well, I mean, we kind of started with the whiskey, yep. like how whiskey culture has changed. Mm -hmm. I mean, look, look, you can literally look at the screen and see how whiskey culture has changed. So this is actually a huge part of why Scotch and Sif got started in the first place. I remember sitting down with my brother and I was like, it, my brother never liked the terminology because he just doesn't like certain words. Like it's just the way he is. But I was like, we want to like bring this thing, Scotch whiskey, down from this pedestal that like people know for, oh, old white guys in leather couches yep. smoking cigars, they do this. And so like it became this thing where I was like, we need to take it and bring it back down to earth. Because on earth, we're just regular people with regular jobs who make relatively regular money because I'm in DC, so it's a little different. Yep. But um so like, you know, doing regular things, but drinking exceptional whiskey. And that's okay for everyone to do. Yep. Like, it's literally, if you've never heard it before, I'm telling you now, it's okay to drink good whiskey. Yep. So like, that's, I that's think they how know that culture already. has changed. But, I mean, there's a Filipino dude and a half black, half Korean guy, like sitting here talking oh, wait, to people about half whiskey. Half Filipino, half white dude. So sadly, there's still yeah, a white whatever. person in here. That's <laughs> sadly, that's not a sad thing because white people can still drink it too. I know, but that always kills me. But like, we wow, we really have a gamut. It's like black, Korean, Filipino, and, and white all in one yep. place. We cover like the whole spectrum. What are we missing? Boom, we're missing like, nah, dude. Who are we, we got? We got it. We got uh, it. The well, Indians are technically Asian, yeah. So we got it. We're missing like pure African. They don't like black people, anyways, yeah. though. That's weird, but yeah, basically but, the gambit <laughs> of most colors. Yeah, we're the gambit. The gamut. Yeah. But, um, so yeah, so, uh, I thought it would be cool to talk about this kind of stuff, uh, like just whiskey culture in general. And I wanted to start with this, Michter's 10. Oh. But it's not because it's Michter's 10, but because, like, we are all human. Yes. Thank you, whiskey bottle. There is only one race. And when the aliens well, come down and we have to band together to defeat them, that's when we're going to realize it's the human race. And I think people else. would be like, we're people, not human. Huh? I mean, it's the same yeah, thing. Yeah, but people are like, human man, human. why are you putting man in everything? Human's just short for humankind. It's all. I know, but people get mad about that. Putting a man yeah, in it. People get silly. But yeah, so Michter's uh, Pamela Highland. Wow, this is really coming from my brain. I think that's her name. She's master the Steel. master at Michter's. So, I mean, females mm -hmm. in jobs like this, it's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. You know? So, and to be honest, I mean, that's people why. have said that, um, I think it's research has said, right? Basically, women have a better nose and palate than yeah. men. Yeah. Scientifically. It's like in gun culture, women with no training shoot better than guys with train with no training. Yeah. Like women are better natural shooters. It's just the way it is. They're just. But uh, to be honest, too like, there's, certain. there's more and more women coming into this industry, which I think is amazing. Um, like I think Tracy was talking about it uh, during the Scotch and Time series, how like the whole atmosphere where they were used to going, like you said before, mostly male dominated rooms and teaching whiskeys, and like, oh, I'm not gonna listen to a woman. Um, you know, talked about whiskeys. I'd rather listen to a man or whatever. But now, like this, the cultural shift—it's more multiracial. 
Um, India is now what the largest drinker of whiskey. <laughs> Oh, okay, wait. Whiskey Throttle just said he's going to send you some Jordan Peterson videos. Mm -hmm. If you've never watched Jordan Peterson, okay. So first of all, this is a whiskey podcast yeah. or live stream, and not a libertarian live stream because, oh my gosh, you're talking about opening up into a giant like ball of wax that I would love to unravel because it's like my favorite thing ever because I'm a huge Ben Shapiro fan. But besides that, this being a whiskey show, let's talk about whiskey. Yep. Um, yeah. So like. That's what it Quiet, was. Quiet, chat, like, calm down while he's getting distracted. When it came, when it came to scotch before, like this is what I knew as scotch. McAllen's. I knew McAllen 18. Everyone knew McAllen 18. This is like what a regular, yeah. again, older white guy sitting at a bar, a super posh bar. This is what he orders. Poor man, yeah. This is like, this is what he orders. He gets the Mac 18. He drinks like a boss. Yeah. His lady's a boss. He's a boss. Everything's boss. But now anybody can be a boss yeah. because we've realized like the internet's made the world so much smaller. Even things like this podcast or you know, this live cast, we're like we're going everywhere with yeah. this. Like it, it's made everything so close and so small that like we all realize like, hey, we could be that thing. Like you just have to do it. No, I think it's great. Like like just like the people all in the chat, right? Coming from different countries, different areas of the world, and it's just like we're sharing whiskeys with each other. We're trading samples with each other. We're communicating. We're actually. We're legally trading samples with each other by visiting each other and giving yes, each other by samples hand and or by tasting things correct yes and then like basically just going to tastings with people meeting up with them like going actually like if i'm traveling to dc or if i'm traveling to scotland or whatever meeting up with people which i think is great and it definitely yeah travel de events are like the best that's i tell people all the time like if you can go to the free ones go to the free yeah. ones um if you got to spend a little bit of money spend a little bit of money like whiskey live usa is coming to dc huge plug scotch and sif may or may not be there i'm not sure yet he has a uh, discount code and he's giving away free tickets Check his Instagram. Yeah, use the discount code. Use the discount code Scotch and Sniff, and it'll give you twenty percent off of Whiskey Live USA. Cool. And I'm okay. holding a contest this week. Like, you just post your name and follow Whiskey Live USA, and then you're entered into the contest to win two free tickets for the DC cool. one. And those tickets Sniff. are usually cost what fifty bucks? Uh, with the twenty percent discount, they're hundred and they're eighty something 80. dollars, but it's regularly like hundred and fifteen. So you're saving money, and like you can that. win free tickets. Yeah, you're saving money. Yeah. And that's happening what this weekend? No, it's March. Second, third, March. It's on First their website if you follow Whiskey Live USA. <laughs> there you go. But um, no, I, like, <laughs> like you said before, like those groups and um, meeting people, the events, I feel as though that um, Whiskey has definitely jumped into the 21st century with YouTube streaming, websites, and all that kind of stuff. So. Sorry, I'm cracking up dying at chat because there are two comments in here that we really need to like Go for talk it. about. One, superior race is NASCAR Daytona 500. No, NASCAR sucks. F1 is the only kind of racing we want to see around here. So not I don't to, know, man. You know, Speed walking is pretty cool. So MotoGP is a good second, and then and then NASCAR, which to be honest doesn't look fun on TV. But going to NASCAR, like Virginia International Raceway, it's actually kind of amazing to see in person. I don't know, man. And then the other comment, right I can't ignore the other comment. Um, Tom R to answer your question about black art 4.1. I either had the 4.1 or the 5.1. I think it was the 4.1. It tastes like Jolly Ranchers. And I wish Ooh, I was really? joking. Like but good Jolly Rancher or like the apple that's really, really sweet. No, no, no. It's like, it's not tart at all. It was, um, it was Scotch storybook. Him and his wife came up from, uh, Tennessee and I was like, Hey, we hung out and then we went there and we were drinking it. And I was like, man, I can't put my finger on it. It's like candy sugar. Okay. It's like, like, like hard to put and then she was like jolly rancher and i was like oh my gosh this tastes like a jolly who, who was that it's like the ambassador or just some random person was like no just his wife just a random person on Instagram, another Instagram. how cool was that like hey <laughs> he was like let's hang out boom he brought me like five cuban cigars i was like sweet what? i will smoke these and tag you <laughs> yeah why not um yeah american f1 fan dude f1's awesome but then again f1 but to be awesome. honest i think the they, they work way too more into the um to the not the drivers races anymore they go through the but like rules, business race everything is rules no it's just like i remember back in the day when it was all like okay it's it's the racer the the drivers the, the key people but now everyone wants to be like oh i want to be the Mer like mercedes-benz um what's it called they have a trophy for it poop i forgot basically the engineering teams <laughs> thing bobby i don't know about being moto gp making you worldly but ben spees <laughs> yeah a little bit of that. <laughs> little, oh my gosh, there's there's only a couple of races that I watch really and pay attention well, to. Well, we got Swami in here. And, we got and Ricky Bobby Mr. Church right. over here. Yeah, we got a bunch of people in here today. Awesome. 
but you got a bunch of NASCAR look at this fans though like here. this the culture is changing um we had uh, i had brody on the live stream on instagram he's doing a podcast about millennials doing the whiskey thing which i think is great I just feel as though this culture... Can, can millennials afford to do the whiskey thing? Yeah. Millennials... Well, <laughs> what, what age do you think you're... Well, a lot of them are We're, creatives. I think we fall just outside of it. No, but a lot of the millennials are like, oh my gosh, I can't afford my school bills, and I can't afford beer. How are you going to afford whiskey if you can't afford beer? Uh, like, Hey, man, there's some good whiskeys at a $50 price range. Just letting you know. There's some good whiskeys under there. There you go. But no, and I think that actually funnels into the culture, right? How... Back in the day, it used to be McAllen 18 was a people or McAllen 15 or whatever. You had to have that to have great whiskey. Right now, you saw, like, was it? Um, yeah. Like, right it behind me, there's right. a bunch of whiskeys that are under fifty dollars, under under a hundred dollars that are amazing and affordable. So, eh, close enough. What was that? I don't know. I turned around and looked at the stuff that I have on the wall over here, but that's not really like, like under fifty. Yeah, no. <laughs> No, I'm, I mean, I'm looking at those bottles. I'm like 100, 200, 100. Yeah, no. Yeah. It's just Winter Storm, Snow Phoenix. There's nothing up there that's cheap. But the <laughs> Lost Generation, what the hell generation is that whiskey, Thorl? <clears throat> I think Lost Generation are the people that are thrown in between, like, we didn't have technology, Gen X, and like, we only know technology, which is like the millennials. We're like this, like, middle, we grew up playing basketball outside, but then. We're like, Gen X, right? I think it's I think cisgender dispelled with a C. That's like totally triggering me. What? <laughs> Nothing. Malted in Montreal is talking. I have to stop getting distracted by chat. We're supposed to be talking about the whiskey community. So, again, whiskey culture, how it's changing. So we talked about what? You, how you can have a distiller, master distiller, yep. uh, who's a female. Mm -hmm. I someone in Highland Park is also a female. I want to say it's their master distiller. Also, I don't know. I said that. But don't my know memory that. is so bad sometimes, and this is one of those times. Not good, man. Come on, you're my whiskey expert. I should probably Google it. I know, but Highland Park is not like the thing I'm expert in, which is weird because so Edrington Group, like all the people that I've met from there, Heba, she's a female from Australia, mm -hmm. like you, but she has a heavy Australian accent. It's kind of cool. She tries to tone it down, but I was like, you're Australian. That's what happens when English is your second language. Mm -hmm. And she's like, uh, how could you tell? And I was like, I know mm -hmm. you're Australian. I can tell from that accent. But um, yeah, so and then also from Edrington, the woman who's in charge of all their accounts mm -hmm. in America, last name Schiff. I can't remember her first name, but um, also a female. She's super nice, actually. Oh, that's cool. But very cool people. No, but and like what the event that you went to with the boat and all that stuff, I thought it was great. It got people together, shared it on Instagram built that culture around that they definitely have that viking feel right that's what they're definitely riding on yep i mean all kinds of people were there that was an amazing event that they yep. did where highland park took the boats around yeah but even the event that they had in the hotel where i got like last minute invited to they had like a giant table and they had a guy telling stories about vikings but this was all stuff that anyone could relate to yep. and there was a gamut of people who were there it's crazy just a mix of everybody anybody who had hotel points and I, and I have to agree though like the one big thing i'm excited for and this is what like the whiskey culture has done is been able to have us have us access to a you know um an ambassador like um tracy and stuff like we're yeah. we're going to scotland right like you i don't think we could have done that 10 years ago they would be more closed what, go to scotland? no no it's like the close off going to the distillery going behind the scenes seeing things oh uh, i don't i don't know you think so you think I, back in the day they would i really able to? I really have no idea because I, you know, I wasn't even interested in whiskey 10 years ago. I know that sounds weird, but 10 years ago, no, but 10 years ago, I just started probably trying drinking whiskey. Jack and Coke then. No, I, yeah. 10 years ago. Yeah. I probably would drink Jack and Coke then, but I was like just getting into whiskey and trying like all kinds of different kinds. It was a different kind of thing. Did you post it on Scotch and Zip? Post what? Uh, uh, something about 95 Glendronic, but oh. the, have you tried whiskey from the New Zealand whiskey company? Nope. So they had some at the scotch and time event and i didn't drink what any. what did you try I it missed out on that and the old portero 16 those two i didn't try i was just in the middle of talking to people or doing a thousand other things yeah. like taking pictures which i still haven't edited which eric is asking about <laughs> dude with uh, rob man dude this this camera's like 70 dollars, dude pick one up man it's not that expensive yeah no 1080p webcam it's the logitech c920 920c yeah, I'll, like I'll message you and like it goes on didn't it go on sale for like 50? yeah it went, it went cheap yeah, that was like the best deal. Yeah. But um, no, yeah, I, I just love this culture, especially the whiskey tubers right now. I think we're all kind of you know pull, pulling each other up. Um, you know, Rob, Swami's there. We got Eric in here. We got a bunch of guys from you know, the YouTube community kind of supporting each other, watching each other's streams, helping each other out. You know, I to be honest, personally, like 
you know, Instagram is a big thing for me. I talk to everybody on Instagram, but bunch, multiple groups. And then now with the whiskey tubers, which is great. So thank you guys for all the support. It's weird. I always think about, um, I always think about how, if you watch a lot of the whiskey or a lot of, I'm sorry, just a lot of like straight YouTube videos mm -hmm. and like how to make money on YouTube. A lot of them say avoid the monetization because there's two problems that it does. One, it puts commercials on your videos, which is why Scotch and Sniff is like not monetized. Yeah. And two, with commercials, um, you can lose views, but you can, one thing you have to be really, really aware of is like at any point in time, YouTube can be like, we're just not going to pay yep. people anymore. Like, especially if it's related to whiskey, they're going to be like, you don't reach the audience we need where the money's at, like kids or something. Yep. And they're going to be like, well, so Sorry. we're just not going to monetize your videos. So, so like, that's why you guys should like diversify, mm -hmm. like sell glasses. If you sell glasses, I mean, most of us buy extra Glen Cairns anyway. And so. um, a segue to that, we do have a Patreon down there, right underneath Wally. So if you guys want to support us right there is it here and i just want to say thank you to anonymous number one whiskey throttle and scotch test dummies for supporting us down oh look at that if you support us on patreon you get your name spinning around in circles Boom. look at that it's fancy how cool is that that is and fancy. then we also if you guys don't know we have an instagram um whiskey entitled we place cards every week the funny ones where me and wally are like baseball cards or playing cards upside down i guess you call them those i never thought of it that way so i i, I put that funny. for free put that all in there no support for heat. Yeah, to each his own, man. It's your money. This much, this much support for Pete haters. If you guys are supporting us on Patreon and you like Pete whiskey, why? I mean, we could have a show about Pete Ooh, whiskey. Would you guys pay for a show that we would just drink Pete whiskey the whole time? No, I would just throw up the whole time, and then nobody wants to see oh, that. Oh, we should do that. It'd be, be horrible. Hilarious. No, nope. That's horrible. But yeah, and if you guys have any questions or suggestions, please let us know in the comments. We're more than happy. Wally does get distracted, so he's going to be doing this a lot. I can't help it. It's because of all the stuff in chat. It's always interesting. Of course like, it is. Yes, it's fun to talk about whiskey culture. Yes, it's changing. Yes, there's good stuff going on. But these people in chat are always funny, and it always makes me laugh. I can't help it. I'm sorry. I'll stop sure. looking in chat now. <laughs> it's hard, too, because it's like a giant screen in front of us. I know, and it keeps I moving. Know. But uh, yeah, so what else about, What else are we going to talk about? You brought... You had two bottles. You brought a few more, so. God, lives for the PDS. Yeah, right. Then you have another bottles around there, or is that? Oh no, that was just the three bottles. So yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about with the culture. So where it started, yep. and where it's going. Yeah, I definitely feel as though that um, smaller brand. Oh, I don't say smaller brands because Mictor's not a smaller brand, but they definitely reach out to their people. Um, Glenmorangie is doing it a lot more now with their virtual tasting, which I think is great. Um, the one thing that I took away from Tracy's with uh, Scotch and uh, Scotch S Dummies was the fact that she almost walked us through the uh, Project XX bottling, or Project Twenty, whatever. Keep reading, Charles. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm I can't. So I can't talk chat. all night, so that's 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 <laughs> probably why. So he's just like, and the chat's big. Oh, so yeah. if you guys can see my screen, the chat's huge. No, so. like, you got, no, you got, no, you're absolutely right. Like. Wait, were you talking about Tracy talking about on Scotch Test Dummies? Yes, that's what I was talking about. I'm glad you listened. <laughs> okay. You know, where she was talking about the Glenfiddich 20. I haven't watched the whole thing yet. I've only watched half yep. of it. But I already, like, posted a thing about it so people can get the link, like, if they follow my stories on Scotch Stuff on Instagram. But um, I already – I was talking to her about it, and, like, she was like, is it okay? I was like, yeah, it's great. Like, so far, I've only watched half. Yep. But apparently she sings in the Oh, end. dude. When we see her – She's former Broadway, When we too. see her, man – oh, shit, dude. That's – we're going to go karaoke? Or something. I no, I'm. You're Korean. Actually, you must, you must like karaoke. No, no, I love karaoke. That's oh, that's a problem. Asians. I would love to go. The problem is with Asians, we have that comp competitive nature when it comes to karaoke. Oh. So I kind of want to karaoke battle Tracy. Oh, this is official. You're gonna lose, man. Right you're gonna, oh. YouTube. Heck no. I say every week. Are All you right, kidding guys, me? Guys, do you have any Patreon idea? subscribers? You're gonna get the I first love, video. This is no this joke. Is it. I feel scenes. like I feel like this is WWF. I literally am like, <laughs> this is it, Tracy. We are going. Da you're going down. This is like. The match of the century. No, I do want to yeah, totally. We'll do that. Definitely. Karaoke time. Karaoke versus. Bam. Oh my gosh. All right. Tracy, you heard that gonna first. It's going to be fun. He's going to. We have to use like Korean karaoke machines though because they, they judge you and they grade you on the percentage of like how well you sing. It's not even how well. It's like high, like how high pitched you can sing and shit. It's funny. No, no. It's how well you sing. Mm -hmm. Trust me. Yeah, robots going to dude. Addicted to love, 98%. Hey, dude. I'm half Asian. Of course with the stereotypes, man. What are you talking about? I'm great at math. <laughs> He's a computer genius. <laughs> We're all... He plays piano. Come on. No, we both play piano. Yeah, we do. Don't don't pretend like you didn't grow up doing the same thing. Uh, and had to take taekwondo too. It's older. Oh, uh, well, that's more of a Korean thing. I had to take Arnie's, which is a fighting yeah, Filipino yeah. style. With the sticks. Yeah, like uh, Nightwing. God. Um, but yeah, so that's fun. <laughs> um, 
Oh, Whoa. oh, 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 uh, whiskey culture and how it's like infiltrating into everything. Yes. I was watching Westworld, which is an amazing show. It's like Altered Carbon, but way Altered Carbon, dude. So like I was <laughs> like, I finished Westworld and in it, they actually have Norlin glasses. I was like, this is so really? cool that those guys got their glass. Yeah, I think two Our episodes boys like, it. Really? Yeah. That's... Yeah, I mean, the piano is playing like modern music, but an old style, but it's kind of cool. Huh. It's, oh, it's I very, thought they would cool. have like a high west glass like up there. Can't see it? High west glass. No, no, it's so far away. What? I can't see it. Bring it closer. Yeah, you just want to solo. Bring That's it. what you want to do. You see my butt. I didn't want to solo. You could have just brought the glass over. I don't think anybody would have mind seeing your backside. Yeah, I do. Wait, there was a... Oh, my gosh. Wait, Whiskey Throttle saying there was a Westworld movie. Is this true? It Was it really a Westworld movie? Seriously. Maybe it was just... Somebody in chat tell me, because if there was a movie, I need to watch that, too. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, that's regular high Yeah, like a Tumblr. Were the Norlin glasses in Altered Carbon? Did I miss it? Um, I'm only on episode five, so I'll have to see that. Wait, what is this? People... What? I need to story about it because I'm a nerd. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, yeah, Scott's Forever. We were talking oh, okay. about uh, also the Glenmorangie line and how they're doing virtual tastings and how that's bringing the culture into the more tasted stuff and, so which I, think well, I was talking to some people in scotland last year and they went and did like the vr tasting over at glenmorangie yeah. and they said it was the dumbest thing they ever did in their life oh. <laughs> i'm not talking about the vr i'm talking about like how he was doing like the webcam skypes <laughs> and he was talking to people about him remember that that was like uh -huh. a week ago with yeah. the the spios so basically oh yeah basically was, every um city that he couldn't travel to they did like a like a skype call into it and then he started talking about it which i think is great because Sadly, I'm in a place where oh. I don't get a lot of tastings. So, yeah. you know, with Tracy, you know, talking about the Project 20, um, the, the doctor dude talking about the Spios, like watching those live and being like, hey, the tasting notes, it just it made it easier and convenient for me. If someone that was part of the whiskey company tell me what they or you should be tasting and then kind of making it up as I go along. Not long before I was born. That was eight years <clears throat> before I was born. Not even a decade. How old are you, Eric? What are you, 50? probably is <laughs> he's probably like 100 and like what are you talking about son he knows how to use a computer though and that's all that matters yeah i still don't understand how well i kind of wait is it related though the movie that came out in 73 is that related to the current tv show? by the way he's talking about westworld the movie or the tv show 80 i'm super curious hey roy how you doing 81 for the win yes yes 81 <laughs> losers <laughs> young buck I'm not that young but yes I'm just glad I can still use a computer whoa oh my god swami dude incontinent. wow man that's no that's so okay you want to talk about triggered incontinence for me is like the point that I want to be put to pasture I really want somebody to just be like hey look you crapped yourself it's time <laughs> and I'll just be like give me the pills <laughs> it's over that'd be funny be like yeah no nah, I'm, I'm done but like look, look at all this look at this you could not have this a couple of years ago. The chat, the conversations that we're having. Chat? They had chat. Didn't they have chat a couple years it's ago? It's like IRC <laughs> or something like that. Not like like this video with the chat. Come IRC on. was like 95. Oh, wow. You remember. Not to get too nerdy. I was on IRC. Like, I remember when a few uh, channels got busted and raided by the FBI. I, I wish you thought, I don't have the carbon, so I don't. I can't live forever. But that would be pretty cool. <clears throat> Who can live forever? Now I kind of want to see this old movie. I want to see the old movie. That's crazy. I bet they don't have Norlin glasses in it. Ooh. Also, oh, uh, weird thing. Denver and Liley reached out to me. They're going to be sending me some glasses, and some other glass company reached out to me too, and they're sending me glasses. Awesome. We need to find so, a glass I, that does it for blind tastings, man. Because the the Glen Cairn, the Glen Cairn is no, the no, glass. no, 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 no. Like everybody... Something that's that it's either painted or something, so you can't see the color of the contents. Oh, I, you can just paint the glasses. I have glasses. Yeah, but I don't want to smell the shit. No, no, glass paint you leave on for 28 days and it finally dries and then, like, it's just black on the outside. Uh -huh. I may have done a couple glasses like that just to yeah, see. Yeah, because that would be pretty cool. Like, I know they did a Norlin glass that was black. The Norlin black? Yeah. The problem with the Norlin is, is like, if you ever drink from the Norlin, the lip is so fat, it's painful. Yule Brenner, yeah, we've heard of Yule Brenner. Try an Elmo sippy cup. That's not a bad idea, except you have no nose in the sippy cup. You know what? I'm going to do a review with the Elmo sippy cup. That's a good idea. Drink out of sippy cup. And Amazon that. Yeah. I don't want to forget. <laughs> I think it'll be a hilarious video, actually. But yeah, guys. Um, so that was a mix of random stuff and whiskey culture. Who knew? This is the And Elmo we didn't even talk sippy about Mad Men or anything like that. Wait, Mad Men? Were we supposed to? No, but like that's how whiskey and bourbons became a big cultural thing a couple years ago because of Mad Men with drinking this stuff. 
did it, I feel like no, in about two thousand six, I started randomly drinking whiskey. It, I'm not saying that, and I wasn't I'm not saying that Mad you were watching Mad Men. I'm saying like the the cultural, especially the, the American culture, went to Mad Men as a, as a penny, uh, tipping point of when whiskeys and more scotches went into fame. Look at that. I'm not the only one. See, scotch for everyone. Carson, he's saying the same thing. You literally, if you try to drink from a Norland glass, it just spills all over your face because somebody made the lip too thick. I get the double walled thing, but not the lip. It needs to like so maybe, meld together. And- maybe Carson and Wally don't know how to drink. So, Norland, send me some glasses. Let me let me try maybe, it. Maybe Carson and Wally aren't alcoholics. Yeah. Also, I bought my Norland glasses. That was expensive. They come in a Balvenie box. Like a shape oh, tube. tube? It's just like a Balvenie tube. Well, Norland, yeah, if you want me to try it out, I'll try it out. And I'll make sure I won't spill on my freaking shirt like these guys over here. <laughs> but yeah no it, it is true though like Mad Men definitely was one of the tipping points where people were like oh especially the whole tumblers with a golden um, thing I thought Mad Men was like the, the cocktail thing it brought back cocktails and nobody no, cared no Mad Men was more scotch whiskey and that was the first two seasons oh cognac and Armagnac glasses the Copita style those are nice and I see that Bart's got STDs now which is weird what I don't know that's what it says Bart's got STDs Oh, he uses them. Yeah. yeah, I'm trying to find a basically a good carrying glass, and but instead of a stump, it has a stem. Like yeah, that's a Copa no, no, glass. No, you can Copa is like it's straight. This I want. No, it's not. No, it's no Copa is like a bowl, just like just like this. It literally the only difference is that instead of it coming to the tulip, it just comes straight yeah, up. Yeah, and I don't want it like, to come straight up. I want it to. No, that that's what you want. You want it to be like that. Well, I guess that's why the guy was that's why uh, who was it? Eric was talking about the the cognac or Armagnac glasses. Because they flare a bit, but I don't think I don't think you want it to reopen, do you? Yeah, I want it to not reopen, but like you got to see it. Like, look how look how curved that is, and this this one has like a little. So I. Eh, you want to bring the nose together? That's good. No, I great. It's great for nosing, but I still want to have that that lip. Oh, I didn't even think about Ron Swanson. He's the reason I like Lagavulin sixteen. That's the why other. everyone likes Lagavulin, liber- dude. He's also a libertarian who works for the government, which I feel like made it easy for me to relate. This is like a whole. Yeah, but I, I heard when he went it. there, though, like, um, they gave him free shit. Uh, you think? It's Ron Swanson, and then he'll be posting it all over media, and everybody will be like, but, I want to buy a yeah, They don't always do that, though. But, um, I th- no? any speaking? other uh, questions you want to do, or we're going to call it a night? Because you know how we do it. I mean, that was it. We just wanted to talk about it in culture, and I totally forgot about TV culture and whiskey, because it is, like... No, it's, it's big, a- man. Like, and there's some people that actually look at um tv shows and tell you by frame what whiskey they're drinking that was like a oh star trek the newest star trek the first one jj abrams star okay. trek the first one they had glenfiddich 30 in it and it was like in an incredible looking bottle and i remember messaging glenfiddich at the time and getting no answer from anybody but i feel like i could message them now maybe and probably get an answer well, but they had the blade runner right the new blade runner movie they had the um black label wait which glasses does somebody think are new why does everyone think all these glasses are new? The only one that's kind of newish is the Glen Cairn, yeah, right? That's that's this only a couple years. Before. It's a relatively newish Four design, five isn't years? it? I don't know. Maybe Whiskey Throtter's older and he knows. He's got a giant one, dude, so I don't trust that guy. Oh, does he have one of the yeah, big ones? Yeah, dude. Oh, I've only seen two of those, and they're amazing. I they got them by mistake. And it, like, so you have Gigantimus hands, right? It looks like a normal one in your hands. Oh, no. It wouldn't look normal in my hands. Oh, no. no not that big. Like... No, no, no. It's like, it's like double this size. Oh, and no, he's the dropped ones I've it. seen are like... He's dropped it too and it didn't break. <laughs> the ones I've seen are... Never mind. I'm done. Everything I say right now is going to sound horrible. Glen Cairn was 1990s? Really? Do you have a bottle? Because we're going to take our thumbnail. Oh, are we? Uh... I know what we do last time. Oh, we put it on our face, didn't we? Dude. This is going to get expensive if I drop anything. Nah, they're, they're not, like, exp- not that expensive. Yeah, right, and this 18 was a Christmas gift. What? Yeah. Okay, I think we're good. Okay. So there you go. There's the behind the scenes. Uh, again, guys, we have Patreon. You can give a dollar. We only... Which should be you, though? We only do four um, shows a month, or every Tuesday. So don't... What about months that have five Tuesdays? Then we do five. So the only problem is, like, because people complain, like, hey, you know, our tiers are high, but I'm just saying, hey... We only do four shows. That's the only thing you're getting a charge for, or five shows, whatever Tuesday it's going to be. So don't worry. Well, that's true, Whiskey Throttle, because they make those Canadian ones, too. Oh, the Canadian ones are weird. They are. Fat bottom? Yeah. 
Those Canadians with the fat bottoms. Bond drinks McAllen? Has he always drinking McAllen? Oh my gosh, we could do an entire show on TV movies and like booze. Okay, we should. No, he, I don't think he <laughs> drinks McAllen, doesn't he? Uh... No, Whiskey Welsh Toro just said that he totally drinks McAllen. I don't remember. He He's always drinking, uh, whatchamacallit? Not oh, Manhattan. No, he's drinking, uh, what do you call it, martinis. With vermouth. Stir- mar- drink martinis. Dry, dirty, stirred, whatever. Shaken, not yes. stirred. Even That's though right. it's supposed to be the opposite. <laughs> Stirred, not yeah, shaken. They're, they've they've people complain that he actually doesn't. Do, you're not supposed to do him shaken because it doesn't taste great. It's actually supposed to be stirred. Uh, but then it's supposed to be gin and, gin and tonic. But then but again, they went back Billy into Joel it. Says tonic it's weird. Double seven. seven is McAllen. What does that mean? I would think that if 007 did drink a scotch, it would probably be McAllen. No. What? Nope. What do you think he would drink? Nope. 007. He has to drink something that's super cool, but like not cool and in your face. McAllen is super cool, but everybody thinks it's super cool. That's why it's overpriced. So what would he drink? If, if if Bond was going to drink something, he would drink something that's more subtle, but very well known. Oba? No, I was thinking more like Highland Park, which is in the same house. But like, because Highland Park is extremely well known, but much more coy. Yeah, but do you, about do you really, you would really think that a, a, a waiter would come out with that bottle? Come on, it's a bit conspicuous. With all the fancy shit. Pull huh. attention to himself. He drinks Mac 30 in Skyfall? Man, times are changing. All right, guys. On that note, what are we going to say, Wally? On that note, we want to be sponsored by Aston. Oh, oh how cool that. Oh, and um, so if you want to find I me. I will take one Vulcan. If you want to find me, drink a K-Man Instagram. If you want to find Wally, you will find him. Too far. And Too far. Too too, too low. Scotch and there sniff. There you go. Everywhere. And then um, Patreon. <clears throat> thank you again to the Scotch Chest Dummies, Whiskey Throttle, Anonymous, thank you guys so much for your support. <laughs> and um, Bond would drink Fireball. It's only funny because it's But what, true. what if he did? He'd be like, screw you guys, I'm what drinking if, Fireball what shots. Would Bond drink Fireball? That'd be freaking... Bond's not a frat It'll guy. be hilarious, like, though. Hey, guys, we're totally going to get wasted Ew. before we go and save these chicks. Yeah, let's do it. All right, guys. Wally, what are we going to say? Uh, Thank you for viewing. We hope that you come back next week. Bam. See you guys. Peace. <laughs>